Welcome to 3-Minute Thoughts. Still out and about and uh, doing a twofer where I'm doing two videos today. Not both will be published today. Who knows when they'll get published. But I figured since out and about I'll shoot two. And this time we're geocaching and the geocache was held up by this guy. It's a little bunny. Woo! We were just at Remlinger Farms and saw some emus. But that's not what I'm going to talk about, even though I was just telling Emily about the uh, the war on emus, which I vaguely know stuff about. Australian war against the Australians versus emus, and they lost the Australians, not the emus, surprisingly. But again, I don't know much about it, so maybe I'll include a wiki link somewhere if you're watching this from a computer, and you can look at it yourself. But I want to talk about injuries, because why not? And I used to have a philosophy that you either had stitches with scars, or you had broken bones. Because my brother had a broken bone, my sister did, and as a kid, I never did. Back when I was probably like 10 or 11, shortly after I was playing D&D, I got some miniatures, and I was using an X-Acto knife to like trim out some plastic bits, uh, so I could paint them, and I put the X-Acto knife in this thumb, which I don't know if you can see the scar, but there's one in there, and that had six stitches. And then when I was in high school, I put a deli slicer into this knuckle which you can see that scar. That was my senior year of high school. I was working at a, at a deli and I did that. And that was another six more stitches. And so that was my philosophy is like, yeah, you either break your skin or break your bones. But then when I was a freshman in college, so this would be 1990, I did something stupid, which that's how I describe it. I broke my, I actually broke it at my ankle and I've got two screws in there, aluminum, that are still in there to this day, what, 30 years later? And I know they're still in there because a couple years ago I had my foot x-rayed and yeah, they're still in there. But uh, it was nighttime, around midnight, and I was running. And so this, this is my usual thing is like people ask how you broke it. I said, I, did, I was doing something stupid and it worked. That's my, my saying. So it was nighttime and I saw this hedge. I thought it'd be cool to like run and jump over the hedge. And it would have been cool except that the hedge was on the edge of a loading dock. So in reality, I was jumping off a loading dock and there was a good three foot, four foot drop on the other side of the hedge that I was not expecting. As my friend from college will tell you, the first thing I said is I lost my glasses because they fell off my face. The fact that my foot was broken hadn't registered right away until I tried to stand up and I couldn't. The ankle all swelled up, went to a nearby dorm where my girlfriend at the time was, and it didn't hurt until they decided to balance my, instead of putting my leg on a chair, they put my foot on the chair, so all my weight was balanced on my foot, and then I actually felt pain. Went to the hospital, this is right before spring break, so I got to have the fun of using crutches during spring break. That's a whole other story, because I took crutches, went all the way home, and yeah, so that disproved my theory. So you can have both stitches, and you can have broken bones. But that's the only thing I have broken. I mean, I've had scrapes and stuff since then, but nothing I'd say major. I did have some staples in my head a few years back. It was a nuts and a whole other story itself. That's about it for today. So have a good one. Thanks.